Here I have my students, my list of students with their grades and qualifications and it turns out that in this data set the values are very different. The range is between 0 and 10, but there is a big difference between a person who has got a 5 strictly and someone who hasn't scored this mark. There is a cut between pass and fail that is the grade 5. So each of these grades I can qualify them as pass or fail. But what I might find truly useful at a given piant is that it highlights this fact in a special way in the grades table. And to do this Excel introduces, apart from all the formats it had in previous version, it introduces what are the conditional formats. A conditional format is a button that we have here in the tools ribbon that allows us to highlight some of the cells in my selected range. In this case it opens a new drop-down menu and gives us the most used options. That is, we can highlight those cells whose contents are greater than a certain value, a threshold that I set, or that is less than, or between two values, or equal to one in particular or whose text contains a particular text, etc. That is, in the specific case, for example, from a list of grades, of qualifications in which give and above 5 you pass and below 5 is fail, it might be useful to highlight those that are over or under this threshold value. In this particular case, for example, we could try to highlight those that are below 5. those which are lower than a certain value. In this case, we have to tell it what value we want of the threshold value, for example, 5. We tell it the threshold here, although it has put the average value surely. We have value 5 and tell it to apply a light red to fill and dark red font, but we can select any other kind of highlighting. We see in the preview that it will highlight all those values that represent people who have not reached this threshold grade that I have indicated. This can be done with numerical values or for example in this range I could apply the corresponding format to cells that contain the text, for example, fail. In this case, it will highlight, with this light red fill and dark red lettering, all those that are fail. Logically, if I review in detail and realize that perhaps say a particular exam I have not marked it correctly, for example this one, if instead of a 1 it was a 5, when I correct the grade, not only will. The final grade change, which is the average of the three previous grades, also changing the qualification, it will be passed because the function indicates as such, but also the conditional format will change it to a white format. This is a very useful way of highlighting particular cells in such a way that they stand out from the rest, while maintaining the coherence of the spreadsheet. That is, that if I change the original data that generated these qualifications, these grades, logically the format will also automatically change. I will not have to go in these values that I have highlighted in red, removing them, Excel will do so automatically, since it is a conditional format that depends on the value that is entered in the cell.